Good afternoon, this is Kago, and introducing Mysterio Man. Hello, hello. hello. And we are the Rash Bros, because we make rash decisions. <laughs> it's, it's true, true in magic, magic and in life. life. Yeah, it'll be fun. It will be fun. Is there now, now we could, as we're waiting to get, get started, started, are there are any, any types, types of decks, decks that we would, we would like, like to play, play going, going in? in? I, mean, I mean, draft, draft is always, always sort of... of What's, What's coming, coming my, my way, way, but with, with this, this you, can, you can you can choose, choose a little, little bit, bit more than you normally could. Um, I generally want to be playing blue or okay. green. Um, I really like upheaval. If we see that, I will pick that over over most power even. Okay. okay. Um, there are some other cards that I like. Um, channel. You know, I like sneaking creatures in things like that. We get a sneak attack. I might actually pick that over like a mox too. Okay. So, just like a warning there. Well, we'll, we'll hop, hop in, in so that so we, we make, make sure we don't, we don't miss this with fire. fire. All right. We're going to sign up, and we'll see you when it fires. We're here. Ukarn Liberated just, like, pops out to me, like, right away. Um, Avenger's pretty sweet. Lion's Eye Diamond can be cool, but on the wheel. Vision's treachery. Um... But I think it's Karn Liberated. Like, that's just one of the Planeswalkers that I love. What are your thoughts? It's, it's I, mean, I mean, Karn, Karn is, a is a bomb card. card. I, uh, I, 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 I certainly, certainly wouldn't uh, begrudge, begrudge you for picking, picking that. that. I really I like Treachery. treachery. I mean, Treachery's got, got a special, special place in my heart. heart. We, started we started playing, playing right around when Ursa Sock, Sock came, came out, out so... Uh, uh, love that card. I love Fond Memories. Also puts us in the blue direction. But again, I can't... I can't, I can't hate, hate on Karn. Um, I do, I do want to say, say I've never, I've never, never got, got, I don't, I don't think, think I've ever got to play him. him. I've played I've him in decks before, before, but never drawn him, him or didn't draw the seventh land. Um, um, so, so I, I don't, I don't have first hand experience, experience with how, how effective he is, but I have no doubt that he tears, he tears shit up. Well, in that case, let's pick him for that reason alone. You'll get to see. All right. All right. We're never gonna draw him now. You're right. You're right. Um, not a lot stands out to me here. Shieldred is a sweet card. Crater Hoof is really good in certain decks. Uh, Guy's Cradle's nice. Yeah. Um, probably not this early though. Jace Balloran's a a sweet Planeswalker. It's not that sweet though. Um, Woodfall Primus I actually really like. Uh, yeah. Especially like if you're sneaking them into play, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, sneak attack's amazing with him. Because you get to sneak him into play, attack, oh, yeah. blow up one of their things, persist, sneak, and, and then he's actually just in play. Um, um, I, for this pick, personally, personally, I like Behemoth, Behemoth uh, just, just because, because I've, I've lost, lost so, so many games in cube draft, draft to it. it. Uh, it just, it just wrecks things. things. And, and, and really, really, your board presence, presence doesn't have to be that big and bad. To, okay, to make him amazing. amazing. But, but again, I, 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 I could I, I almost want to lean more towards Guy's Cradle, but I'll, I'll go with him uh-huh. on that one. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, Rufellos here. Just stands out a mile away. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I guess Alicia Norn is pretty sweet. I don't know if you've ever seen that one. Yep. Yep. Um... I don't really like playing the black discard decks. Uh, it's not really fair to me, and it's just not fun. But then, okay. like, bomb card like this. This is discard, but then you draw it. That, I will I will pick that up on the wheel, just because yeah. it's a one-card combo. It's, it's a, lot a lot stronger, stronger than, than, um, than, than it's giving credit for, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, I'm tempted to just snap that up here, but... Rafelos just enables so much, and it's yeah. really good with the two cards that we already have here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, maybe we can get uh, Gaia's Cradle on the wheel. That would be so sweet. Um, so, I like Unburial Rites a lot, but I don't think... I'm picking that up. Uh, Garouk. 
is is pretty awesome. I think I think it's between like Garuk and I don't like Jorega. He costs four uh two turns to enable. Um, I think I like Garuk here or Unbearable Rights, and Garuk just keeps us where we're going. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, so I, think, I think I think the good pick, pick the, the smart pick, pick is Garuk. I think the fun pick is Unbearable. Okay. I mean that doesn't that doesn't, doesn't answer your question, question but. but uh... <laughs> yeah, and I can agree with that. Ooh, oh, Titan. Titan. Yeah. Oh wow, Gift Sun Given is so good with Unbearable Rights. Yeah. 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 Somebody's getting a crazy good deck. And that, that mystic, mystic, that mystic, mystic is freaking sick. Yeah. I do like Stoneforge Mystic, especially if you get a batter skull. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, it's Primeval Titan here though. Like, there's there's really no debate on that one. Right. So, right, right if right. we had the the unburial rights, it'd be probably gifts ungiven. So. I can try. try. But. Yeah. I also, also really, really like, like Necropotence. Necropotence. I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's nowhere, nowhere near in the wheelhouse we're, we're playing, playing in, but, but uh, I, I, remember I remember playing it back in the day and then playing it in the cube. cube. It's just it's so effective. effective. Right. I think I'd pick up Baraska before I'd do Necropotence, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. Just because the the mana. Hmm. Fauna Shaman's pretty good here. Um, there's, there's a lot of good cards here. Yeah, yeah there, there are. are. Um... I'm almost tempted to get the Shardless Ancient. I was I looking at the Ancient and the, the, the Mancer. Mancer. The, this guy? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do really like him. But he's not worth going into black for me. Okay. He's just not that yeah. form of a card. But, but I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm cool with the Ancient. I don't know how, how much small, small stuff, stuff we're going to have. have. Well, it, it does some cool things with, like, suspend cards. Like, it, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah. yeah. Maybe the shaman. shaman. Maybe the shaman, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get the yeah the agent. Reclamation sage. Yeah, yeah I, think I think so. so. I mean, it's kind of a dull pick, but it's actually a really it's good card to add to our deck. Nothing too exciting yet, besides like Karn is awesome. Right. But, uh. I mean, Titan, whenever, whenever I get Titan, Titan I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, Titan. Titan. yeah, this is pretty good, actually. Like, we're not doing any, like, turn two craziness, though. But we could get a turn three Primeval Titan, so that's pretty that, cool. That'd be neat. That'd be neat. <laughs> yeah, if we can just stay, like, green. I think we pick up the Mana Dork here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Little, Little baby, baby elf. elf. Yep. I mean, there's other viable picks, but, yeah, uh, Mana Dork seems like the best one. Yeah. yeah. Mm, Cradle, Cradle didn't make it. it. What's that? Cradle, Cradle didn't, didn't make, make it. it. Oh, I was hoping. But Avenger did. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I watched, watched, uh, I watched, I watched one of your Q drafts, drafts, I think, I think last, last night, and you were playing, I think you were playing Mono Green, and, and you were playing, playing Channel a lot. Uh -huh. um, first, first of all, awesome. awesome. Just, Just amazing, amazing to play, play channel. channel. Um, right. and, and then, then drop, drop like, you know, like Ulamog or, 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 uh, or uh, um, any of the other Karn. Um, yeah, Karn. Yeah, Karn. Anything. <laughs> anything. Um, but, but then you were natural ordering a lot. And a lot of time, you didn't seem to... Oh, the Primus is still in there. Or maybe the land. I'm okay with either. But the Avenger you seem to value less than the some of your other creatures. And I, and I think, think uh, there, are there are a couple, couple times, times where you picked, picked like the Primus, Primus and, and I thought, I might have picked the Avenger there, but Avenger might do, might, might give you more utility. utility. Oh. But, okay. um, but anyways, anyway, I, I think, think it's really good. good. I think it's under the value. Well, uh, I think a lot of the times there, you know, I'd only get like, oh, sweet. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd only get like a couple creatures out of it, like, because I was channeling. So I only okay. had like four lands in play or something. Okay. Okay. So it didn't seem that overwhelming to me, and that I think that's why I did that that okay. way. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's no more questions. I mean, I mean wow. Well. So here we can look into going black, but I don't really want to. I think I'll just pick up this guy here. 
Okay. Well, if you're not, not interested in playing black, black man, man, we'll go black. black. Well, I, I, I'm just not interested in getting that land. I'd okay. rather get, like, a, a, a better land than that. We'll take because, another Because room. I am playing Rafellos, and that's my yeah. reasoning there. I don't want to dilute myself with the wrong color land. Both of those are good picks. Yeah. Uh, wow, I don't know. I think I did take, take harmonize, but it's, it's just a painful, painful choice. choice. I, I did take harmonize. I mean, yeah. It was kind of just like a toss up to me. But I ended up with it. Whew. Survival, Survival dudes, pernicious, pernicious deed, uh, opposition. <laughs> opposition. I it's really got play opposition play. here. Opposition is a card I really want to play. I've always lost to it. Uh, Edric will go on the wheel. Um, I mean, I do really like Survival of the Fittest, though. But, and, and also Edric. Do you know what Edric does? Yeah. yeah. The, opposition. The, opposition the opposition will not wheel. wheel. Um, if it's something, something you want to play, play, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do it. it. We'll, 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 we'll play Green Blue, blue and, and we'll see what other uh, cool things, things come away. I do like Pernicious Deed a lot, though. Yeah. Like, Pernicious Deed's like pretty this. Because, like, the artifact decks just die so hard to uh, Pernicious Deed. Also, Containment Priest is nice. You know, yeah, I, I, I think, think back, back to, to, to Apocalypse, and, and just, just to think, think that in, in for a while in Standard, and then in Block as well, Pernicious, pernicious Deed and Spirit Monger were in the same, same format. format. Like, I accidentally got Pernicious Deed. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's I, was, okay. I, was, I was highlighting it just to look at it, and That's yeah, okay. I accidentally got it. Uh, oh, man. That sucks. That's and okay. then there's a Mana Drain here. Mana Drain's so, got to be the pick. Man, yeah, I mean, Mana Drain's a, 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 a really strong card, but my thought is we're going to be using our Mana most turns. turns. So, like, so I, I, guess I guess I'm concerned, concerned about having Mana, mana open to play. play. Uh, but, like, I'm not even that excited about getting out of my Elder at this okay. point. Some, some dude, some some dude uh, uh, on the net that blew you crap for, for passing the Elspeth. Um... Elspeth so, is really good. Oh, oh it, it is. is. No, no especially bad. this one. This one's um, pretty insane. But, but he was giving you all kinds of crap, crap for passing it. So uh, a big part, part of me says, says don't, don't touch that, that just so that this guy goes on another rampage. rampage. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should just never draft Elspeth again. We, we should. We should. <laughs> um, just give a shout out to that guy. Yeah. I think it's Oracle here. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. so. I, uh, I could be, I could be in, uh, uh, talked into the, the Lotus. Lotus. I'm, I'm not super excited about it, but it does. We do have a high curve, but I think the... It does fit. I think the Oracle. that Oracle's just better here. My, yeah. My thoughts are maybe the, the Overgrown Tomb, just to uh, open us up to this card. D. Or Mox Diamond. Like, it's... Mm. Those are my three. That I'm looking at. I think I, think I, I like, like Oracle over Diamond and Tomb. Now, no, Mox Diamond, Diamond used to be amazing, but I feel, I feel like, like in this format, um, it, it just doesn't. It, it's just, just not, not a Mox. <laughs> it's, it tries to be, but it's not. Well, it's it's, it's card disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. And 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 it's like, it's just hard to fit in, like when you're playing it. It, it hurts. Ooh, he's candy. Uh, you like the bird, I assume. I do. I also, I also, I also like this. Like yeah, I'm just, I've got a soft spot in my heart for this. It blows stuff up. Once you get it on the board, your opponent has to play completely differently. Um, so I'd be okay with either one. Hmm. The bird fits this deck, but never knows the disc fits everything in the world. The only thing it doesn't do is like, it really just is awful against Planeswalker decks. It is. Uh, which one were you more interested in, though? No, no I mean, you, you're, you're the pilot, man, so it's your call. I think I'm going to go with bird here. I said I love, I love my birds, and I love my disc. 
I, I think I'm going to go with Bird just to kind of open me up a little bit to other I think that's, that's, I think I think that's, that's a good call. call. I, think I think that's, that's, that's the, the right, right choice. choice. The disc, the disc is, is a fun choice. choice. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Oh, man, and a worn Power Stone. Screw Power Stone. We got a channel. Right. Yeah. You're, you're, you're still, still thinking about, about that Power Stone right now, aren't you? No, I'm not, no. Okay. I'm just looking at the pack. Uh, Golgari Signet is pretty sweet. Signet's sweet. The Elves, okay. Yeah. I think Sin Collector's got a great name. Yeah, it does. I think I have a promo of that, and it's pretty sweet. Like, an yeah, nice. promo. Mm-hmm. Um... So, so I like in your videos, videos just randomly, randomly in the background, background you can hear your dog just like moaning for no reason. <laughs> like he just did it. He's yeah. Like, yeah. He's pretty and funny. it's it's so like low and far away that you almost feel like maybe you imagined it. <laughs> uh, search. Yeah, yeah I think search is good. Yeah. I mean there's I, reasons to go heartbeat but like yeah. I really don't want to play that and then let my opponent untap yeah no, just don't want to do it well, well we, we could we could take, take it and then we could hope that, that turnabout wheels so that we could tap his lands through his upkeep once I, th I think it would uh, be I'm better just kidding, to I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> okay good I'm glad so, so uh, go ahead we are opening ourselves up to like these these other colored cards now yeah Oh, I got yeah. some fixing here. Uh, so, so the, the other day, day I played, I think, I think it, it was, was second turn, turn Frixie and Negator. Um, Frixie and Negator is a 5-5 five, five trample for three, and for each one damage done to him, uh, you sacrifice a permanent. So like, like first turn, you know, he plays a land, go, you know, a mountain he's done, second, or first turn, uh, Swamp, Ritual, Negator, and I thought, 5-5 five, five, Trampler on first turn, like, I've got this. He goes, plays a Mountain, and then Fire Blast. Oof. Yeah, I was like, huh. Huh. Oh, man, that sucks. You know, I think I even had a Mox out, too, that I had a sack. I think I did. Oh, man. Yeah. So you're just like, oh, okay. Back, yeah. back to what I was doing. Game's over, over, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the master. I mean, there's a case for the herb war as well. Yeah. But I've, I've never, never been impressed with the master. I do want to say that I played it a couple times, and it's never seemed to work out. Now, I think one. I think that's because one time the game glitched, and like I tapped it, and for some reason, like all my wolves died and it. I was like, I don't understand what happened there. I. I don't really want to pick up the herb org, though. Okay, uh, I mean, that's I fine. fine. Click, 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 click. Okay, I did. That was close. That was close. Yeah, good call. Opposition! It came back! It came back to us. It's a sign. You have to pick it. Yeah, I mean, they're, like, all three of these cards are good for our deck, though. Yeah. Zemusin. Oh. I, don't, I don't even know if I want it now. It just um, does so good. I mean, I love really Opposition, good. though, and I've never gotten to play with it in this cube, so... Eldrick's better, better, better for our deck, deck but I feel, feel like it's a sign that you have to play Opposition. Alright. Also, Opposition plus Avenger is just like... Heh heh. Gastro players, there's that players. That is pretty good. Ah, yeah, I guess that. Uh, yeah, I think that is the pick. Yeah. Dark Confident. Oh man, Primus, nope. that sucks. So bad for our deck. <laughs> yeah. Man, I lost eight life. Yeah. Um, I do like Treetop Village, but I think I want to get the Overrun Tomb to enable the Pernicious Deed here. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree. And the, and the Village is too slow for this deck. We're never going to want to land and come in and play attack. Yuck. Um, Yuck. I guess we take this so we don't play against it. Or... I guess. Man, yeah. Actually, probably that. I'd probably 
be less happy about seeing this. Yeah, yeah but I feel like no one's going to play that card. card. No, yeah. Um, take the Springs? Oh, okay. I'm not going to play it. No. no. That's it's interesting. interesting. I don't think I want to even play Harvey. Okay. But, but you, you got, got the fire blast, so now, now it's safe to play Frixie and Negator. <laughs> I'm not gonna go that far. I've seen the uh, Lightning Helix. Yeah, yeah. Um, I almost feel like with our deck, I want to pick up the Trop. <laughs> I'm going to select the trap. Um, Sorry, we have we're having technic technical difficulties here. Are back? Yeah, what happened? I have no idea, it just disappeared. I think I dropped my mouse or something. Uh, okay. You got Trop? Yeah, I did get Trop. Uh, That's good. I, I just felt like it, it suited the back deck best here. Oh, yeah. And I actually, I, like, I actually like Termagoyf in this format. I feel like it's regularly like a 3-4 pretty early. Okay, I'll pick that up. I do really like Lenor and Lenor Archmage. And I, I'm kind of sad I don't pick that up. Uh, Lotus Cobra. Lotus Cobra's good, but so is the Zenith, and so is the Mar Marari's Wake. I do like both of those, but I think it's Lotus Cobra here. You know what I don't like in this pack? Elspeth? Elspeth, Elspeth yep. <laughs> I'm going to go on record and say it is the worst, it is both the worst card ever, and it is the worst Planeswalker ever, and it is so not both. It is all. And the worst... <laughs> character ever. I'm going to go ahead and go on record. Are you, are you trying to stir the pot a little there? Uh, I, you know, I know, I'm trolling this troll. <laughs> he, uh, he made fun of my, he made fun of my, fun of my boy, uh, Keegan, so I'm going to go ahead and, um... That's alright, he's probably not watching our videos anymore anyway, so... I'm going to go ahead and whiz in his face. That's, that's the analogy I want to draw. I'm going to whiz in his face. Lotus Cobra's so good here... Uh, man, I'd love the Z the, the Marauder's Wake to come back. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it would be cool, especially with the Lotus Cobra. Pattern of Rebirth. It's a natural order, except for it's not. It's not just green. However, uh, you, you have to trigger it. You have to kill the creature. Right, right. So you put it on one of your, your low drops, um, and you just wait for them to attack. Mm, I'm not a huge fan of it, honestly. Okay, okay. Uh, I like the Courser better, I think. Okay. But I also like Time Spiral, but it actually is Time Spiral just... Maybe it is Time Spiral. It, you know, it refills our hand. I like that. I like Pattern better, but Time Spiral is fun. That'd be good. Time Spiral is fun. It's Time not... Spiral opposition. Noble Hierarch, easy pick here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Yabba My Coast is pretty sweet, but yeah. I love Moat as well. Yeah, I keep wanting to play Moat. It goes so mm -hmm. far in packs, too. Mm -hmm. It's It surprises me because, like, against, like, my deck, it would just shut it down until I, I draw a Karn Liberated or something. Uh, yeah, rec Reclamation Sage. Yeah. Yeah. 
Although, I don't even know if Reclamation Stage will make the main deck at this point. Oh, and they probably won't. Mm. Yep. Man, the Titans. I've seen so many Titans, and I hate passing Titans. <laughs> Brady, don't like passing Titans. <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, Sylvan Library is the pick. I, I, could, I could be convinced of Wooden Foothills because we have a trop. But. Ooh. And uh, Lotus Cobra. Yeah. It's kind of sick with Lotus Cobra. Uh, I actually am leaning actually closer to that. If you're okay I got your back. The... I got your back. Okay. Cool. When people when people troll you and say you should have picked uh, Silver Library, I got your back. All right, cool. Um, there's several good cards here. I like the Witness. I don't know what I'd use it with, so I don't really like it now that I think about it. I like Genesis <laughs> Wave a lot. Like Mana Drain into Genesis Wave, make your opponent yeah. cry. Yeah. Or oh, channel into Genesis Wave. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was waiting for you to get to it. I was like, yeah, Gen yeah that's all right, but Genesis or channel's better. Gilor's pretty sweet. She's amazing. Um, I, I Nothing against her, but Genesis Wave, when you have a channel, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, ooh, this is a tough one here. It is a tough one, actually. I don't. I don't think we pick up Teague, just because. I think you're right. Yeah. Um, it's probably between these two. Yeah. Yeah. Wild well, Roots is so good, but yeah, I think I think you're right. I think we've got a deck here though. So maybe we just pick up another fetch. Yeah. Like we've got plenty of ramp, and we did get the stunted growth. So. Primal Command, like, Stunted Growth is just better than Primal Command, so. Yeah. So, um, I think Slime comes in. Yeah. I mean, we may not main deck it, but it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. We probably won't, but it, uh, it's a good sideboard card. I actually am not, like, opposed to picking up Life from the Loam here. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. I mean, we have two fetches now. Yeah. Yeah. Wake wield. So it's Zenith. Hmm. Man, that's tough. What do you think? That's, it's really, really tough. We only have two ways to fix. Three, I guess we've got qu quite a few ways to fix. I'm going to go on My, the Zenith. Okay. I mean, you could have talked me out of it. Pattern, wield. Yeah, take that. Man, this is great. Yeah, I think we're in pretty All good right. shape. Now we just got to play it out. All right. Take out the lands. Yeah, I didn't do what I said I was going to try and do. Well, I like where we're at here, though. No, I mean you kind of did. I mean, I think you did more than you normally do. You were trying to, you were actively trying to build a deck. We started off uh, playing sort of big green, and then you actively sought out ramp, and then things to augment it, like opposition. Um, what do we remember? What kind of fixing I got? You got a bird, you got an elf, you got a hierarch, you got a lotus cobra. What channel kind of black fixing. Black fixing. The I don't tomb. don't the tome and then the bird and the lotus cobra. That's it. So Search could, for tomorrow. So we could play these two easily if we want. Yeah. If we want. Because we have a lot of fixing for it. But what? How, we're at thirty cards. Yep. 
Reclamation Sage comes out. Fly from Long comes out. Uh, I don't know about Reclamation Sage, but we'll look at it. I don't like Pattern of Rebirth that much. So. Okay. Because your opponent has to interact with it for it to work. Um, Do we want both groups? Oh, you already took one out. Yeah, I did take the one out. This would be a sweet deck to get um, Tooth and Nail in. Yeah. But we didn't. But we can Genesis Wave and do Woodfall Primus Crater Hoof. Or That's not good. Woodfall Primus. Uh, Avenger Crater Hoof. That'll be pretty sweet. That's pretty good. I think uh, Pernicious Deed is probably a sideboard card. Yeah. I take out the Abrupt Decay too. Because I just I feel uncomfortable having one black card in the deck. Like the chances of me getting the right land for it and it are not great. I do really like it though. Uh, you might want to take out taking out mana drain. Really? Just because it's well, it seems like we're going to be so aggressive that I just I don't think we'll have land open. We will want we'll want to use our land every turn. I'm going to keep mana drain in. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I think I might take out Thada though. Can you enlarge her? Mm. I can bring her in against somebody playing islands, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I like her, but, like, the chance of us playing her on turn two is pretty low. Yeah. Or turn three. So that's my thing against her here. Okay. Uh, I wonder how good Time Spiral is. It's probably pretty good, but, like, we are kind of cheating mana. At this point. Um, I guess, so my thought is, we're going to drop our hand relatively quickly and then drop the last couple big thing, you know, big Berthas in our hand. Mm -hmm. And then I think we're going to be out of steam. So Time Spiral, for me, allows me to draw seven new cards. Right. Um, I also want a Time Spiral just to get that opposition. Yeah. Um, we're down to 25. I, mean, I, I could under I could understand taking out Time Spiral. I don't love it, but yeah, I could understand it. I I might well, I, I'm thinking about taking out Master, um, but it goes so well with Opposition. It does. It does. Um, Harmonize doesn't actually seem that great. Like it doesn't actually. How good is Shardless Agent? Uh, let's see. We've got two... Uh... So we've got Rafelos, which would be the ultimate... Rafelos or Lotus Cobra would be the ultimate ones we would want to get with it. Mm -hmm. But then we've got some bad ones like Channel and Mana Drain. Yeah. yeah. But we could actually play around getting into Channel. Like, we could save it or something, and, like, leave some mana open so that maybe we can get into channel. Or, wait, no, does it? Yeah. It does get abrupt, too. It does. Uh, I'm a little concerned with so many high drops that we're just going to run through a big chunk of our deck with it. It just goes on bottom. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't like do okay. anything bad to it. It just like shuffles it, basically. But do you like it? Do you not like it? I mean, I uh, yeah, I, I like it. I mean, we still gotta got get a get a. We still have to get a card out, maybe two. So yeah. maybe that's the weak link, but but I do dig it. How many? Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We actually don't have that much mana ramp. I mean, I guess we do, but I don't know.
Maybe take out one of the heavy drop creatures. I can't see taking any of those out. Avenger would be the one that I would take out. And I, I know you don't like that. I don't really like it that much. No, I mean, I, I think, no, I think between the Titan, uh, the Behemoth, and the Primus, I think that has the least utility. I guess we, Master of the Wild Hunt only is good with opposition. Right. So maybe it is just taking that out. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like that? I'm okay with it. Yeah. What would you rather take out? I'd rather take out Mana Drain, but... You put the kibosh on that. And that's cool. Yeah, I know. That's cool. Yep. Mana drain is like power to me. Uh, would you rather take anything other than mana drain out and master? Um. No, I can't really see anything else. Yeah, I think Master is the weak link here. We good with this? Yep. Are, Are you? you? Three? Yeah, I'm good with this. We've got one, two, three, four sources of blue, three sources of black, five sources of green. I want to probably put two islands in, do you think? Or maybe three? Yeah. Three islands in or two? I think two is enough. So, two? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't think we need a swamp. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, because we've got to make sure we have those force early game. Yeah. I mean, in Rafelos' instance, yeah. Yeah. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six islands. A bunch of green and three black and then whatever else is included over here so, right yeah I like it all I'm right submit let's crush some face all right uh, see you guys in round one <laughs>